Mr. 1185 coming at you with my first of many ROM reviews on the Galaxy Note 2 Verizon variant. Um, it's been a long time coming. I've had this phone for a while. So I uh, just want to go over uh, this ROM that I'm using. I'll show you how to install it. I'm using the Clean ROM, and this is the Verizon only version but it's based off of Android version 4.1.1 it's the clean ROM BZW SE 2.0 now previous to this it was an all carrier edition the ace edition and this is the newest version that was Verizon only so uh, big shout out to Scott's ROMs for doing this his ROMs have always been very clean very close to stock with the custom customization of the ROMs that we love but without all the lag and force closes and all that stuff so very stable ROM very clean very stock with some cool um, customization so first of all this is one of his um, wallpapers included so I just left it there it's pretty awesome I did go to manage screens and I'm only running one screen I kinda don't see the point of too much especially with as much real estate as you're getting with the Note 2 as you can see I've got multi window right here um, if you didn't know this and I'm not sure if this is true with stock but you can move this around up and down and then you can even pull it out and move it to the other side I like it to be on the right side I'm left handed so it works good for me um, but let's go ahead and get into it so first of all you can see this is a very stock look um, you can see Google now is running have your toggles up top Toggles at work, flashlight app works, as you can probably see there. Um, wi Fi, mobile data, Bluetooth, um, mobile hotspot actually works, and I'll give you an example of that. We'll go ahead and start that up, and I'll bring over my transform, transformer tab, and you can see that I am connected to my. connected to 70 megs per second link speed so that is awesome uh, so Wi-Fi tether included in this ROM um, it's kind of pretty standard these days with most ROMs but um, it's very stable the connection is very clean um, download speeds on anything connected are just like being linked up with 4G all the time so loving that um, you can see the the brightness slider and everything's right here in the in the drop down screen going to take off the hotspot. Uh, a couple things that that were done with this ROM that makes it better than just running stock. Obviously you get the multi window. Um, you can go into your app drawer and there's multi window control and this is where you can add applications. So if you want to add an application that's not typical, um, say we want to add Evernote. We'll add Evernote there, then that's done. We'll hit back. It's going to want to kill multi window because we just made a change to it, so we'll kill it. Alright. We'll hold the back button, bring it back up. We'll go to edit, and then you can see I can drag Evernote in here. Evernote is now added. Say we want to take S Note. No, we'll leave S Note. Uh, say you want to take the email server off, you can take that off and then you hit done and that's there. Another cool thing and this just shows the stability of this ROM um, we'll go ahead and pull up we'll pull up the regular web browser and then let's go ahead and pull the camera in typical of most uh, multi windows and I haven't seen this um, here, here's a really good example, let's go ahead and pull in something that we'd load a picture to. Let's go to uh, let's go to messaging. Well actually that's not a good example. Let's see. Let's go to I don't have any apps on here. Let's go to messaging. We'll pull messaging in here. And we'll start a new message. Now instead of back this out. Instead of attaching a photo that you have to take, you can actually come over here 
to your camera. Let's do an autofocus. Capture. Come here. Images. Camera. And there's a photo. So the same photo I just took, which is pretty awesome. This just shows that um, the strength of this ROM. We'll back this out. We'll come over here. We'll go full window on the camera. But one thing about multi-window, like I said, is you can't see the, this button right here. So being able to go into settings, go to scroll down to you get to take photo using voice and you can do that right there so this basically enables you to just say capture shoot capture smile cheese turkey so turkey didn't work but just really cool the fact that you can just use voice commands multitask one thing I'm very excited about this ROM having is full S Pen capability. So just being able to double tap, open up a quick note. Um, actually, let's go into settings. You can disable pen detection so it doesn't vibrate and waste battery. Set your dominant hand. Um, air view. Air view is pretty awesome. We'll go to the video player. Hover over a video have over another video you can I believe I could be wrong here sorry wrong app I believe you can even go to no doesn't work on emails it works on text messages uh, works on pictures we can go to the gallery um, so you can look at the little gallery, pick the picture you want I mean that's pretty awesome right there so go to camera opens all that up actually I think it was gonna yeah I'll even scroll through which is pretty awesome so air is awesome uh, S note I love just being able to take notes um, using this pen this is what makes a phablet or this what makes this way better than any phablet or any other giant screen phone you can have because the S Pen capability is beyond any other device that I know of that has a stylus so pretty awesome you can draw has shape match and you can definitely look up videos on how to use S Note but there's some really cool ones like shape match you draw a circle it makes it a perfect circle so really cool I also love to use S note in a text message we'll go to text messaging uh, let's see here I have not put an app drawer button here let's put an app drawer button down here alright app drawer let's go to messaging and we'll just pick a new text message we'll come down here and this is the Samsung keyboard we'll hold this down and we'll go up to draw so we'll say hello how are you and you see it's recognized the capital letters if I write in lowercase it writes lowercase you gotta hit a space every time or you gotta draw a space so happy space happy period so we're going to go ahead and reboot, wipe, and then I'll show you the aroma installer for this ROM and then I'll leave you with the boot animation. So it does have reboot right into recovery. I'm running Torp so you'll be able to see that when it boots up. Okay so I'm re rebooting into recovery. We're running Team One Repro Recovery Project. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wipe. New to 2.5.0 version of Twerp, you can do advanced wipe. We'll do Dalvik Cache, Cache, and System. Swipe to wipe. Now we'll go ahead and do all three at the same time. 
So that's all done. Alright, we're going to go back. We're going to hit home. We're going to install. Install from SD card. I believe I have it downloaded. Nope. I got to remember I put this ROM at. Okay, so clean ROM, VZW SE 2.0. I'm going to go ahead and swipe to flash. It's going to flash and go ahead and then boot up the Aroma installer. I'm a pretty big fan of Aroma installer. It just gives you a chance just to be a little bit creative with the way your ROM's built. You don't have to keep everything. Um, so I really enjoy it. We're going to go ahead and do stock boot animation. I don't have any custom boot animations um, to flash right now, so you have that option. Go ahead and hit next. These are different launchers you can run. Um, as you saw on my phone, I was running Apex Launcher. We'll go ahead and start with TouchWiz. I like to have all the keyboard options. File Explorer, you can do both. You can do, I'm sorry, not both. You can do ES, you can do stock, or you can do none. I like stock. These are some of the Verizon apps, some of the blueware. Uh, my Verizon's good to have. I don't like visual, vo visual voicemail. Uh, and I do like the photo editor. So we'll go ahead to the next. These are Google apps. I like everything. Looks like I like everything but talk. We'll go ahead and hit next. Um, terminal emulator, I take off. I like to have Adobe Flash. I like to take off ad blocking because people make money off of ads and that's what they put all their hard work into so take that off give you the multi window control hit next then it's going to flash it once it goes through hundred percent it's going to go back to twerp and then I'll meet you back there alright it's finished everything up says all done gonna hit next finish alright you have the option to go back to home, but we're going to go ahead and reboot system. With mine, I'm not sure if this is going to happen with everybody's ROM, but um, when I did flash this, I lost root, so this is giving me the option to fix it, so swipe to fix. Alright, let's go ahead and reboot. As always, thanks for checking out this video. Hope it helped. If you did like the video and it did help out, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for subscribing. Um, the links for the ROM and all the information are linked in the bottom of this video. And uh, thank you guys so much. See you in the next one. Grass, record tracks to the globe and rap it was a